danger, ocean, water, survive, me, teach, survive. Welcome back, adventurers. I'm here once again, out here in the dangerous wilderness. Nobody for miles. On this episode, it's how to survive if you're stranded in the ocean. Here I am, out this dangerous mountain lake. The waves have reached a max of 10 feet tall, and it's already claimed two lives this season. Poor souls. But here I am, about to go swim in these dangerous waters, and teach you how to survive like me. Obviously, this is not the ocean, but the techniques and tips I teach you here will be the same. Oh, shit, cool. Now I'm out here in the in the lake. The first step is you wanna you wanna make the first first. All right. So the first step is you wanna make a flotation device so you don't drown. Jeans, please. Um, I always recommend wearing a pair of jeans if you think you're going anywhere near the ocean in case you might get stranded flying over it, going to the beach. So what you want to do is tie the edge, tie these the pant legs here. Just get that nice and good. I'm uh, performing the slip knot. It's complicated, maybe I'll explain it in a different video or something. But and now that we got the edge tied, we're gonna inflate it from the big end. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll catch up with you after I'm done. Rub it in. All right, now that I've turned my jeans into a flotation device, the next step is to find food. Our primary source of food is fish. So I'm gonna teach you how to catch some fish with our bare hands. And we've put a few of them in this pool so I can demonstrate catching them and teaching you how to catch them yourselves. You wanna start by scanning the water for any sounds or movements. You wanna search for things that us fishermen call boils. As you can see, my eyes are very alert. I think that's a boil. So the air bubbles means that there's fish underneath. You gotta watch it. Get ready. Let's fight! Oh, 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 oh. I've caught the fish. And I killed it instantly upon impact. Just keep squeezing, it'll die soon enough. And this little guy here is perfectly okay to eat raw. That's why they call it sushi. And it's delicious. And that has completed our food portion of our survival tips. <coughs> In emergency cases, if your flotation device fails you, I have learned the best way to tread water for the longest period of time possible. And so I'm gonna teach you that technique now. And we're gonna head to the deep end, no flotation device. All right, so I'm here in the deep end, and the key is to get your arms moving side to side, and you just rotate back and forth. I can go all day doing this technique. It's just pretty, it's just kind of easy. You just keep. For the final step, it's a common misconception that you cannot drink ocean water. In my experience, that's completely false. I once survived off ocean water for an entire month. I know this is pool water, but it's essentially the same principle. Totally drinkable. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and please comment if you have any other how-to videos for me to do, because I'm full of knowledge and wisdom. Thank you, have a good one.